Hello everyone, welcome back to Lynn's Homestead. No, you're not matching anything. I am wearing a winter hat. Why? Welcome to my nightmare. See, the whole thing is, before I can jack up the house, I have to dig up the water pipes, and uh, that way I got, uh, so that way I don't break anything. I got one pipe that goes from the water main to a valve that goes to a water filtration system. And I got another pipe that comes off that before it goes to the outside faucet and it goes to the barn. Now I already got the barn pipe reliefed a little bit. I got to do the house. Now I dug all that I'm going to dig today, being a Sunday because I got to go work in the morning. Uh, let me show you what I have to dig around. This is the pipe going to the barn. This is the pipe coming up from the uh, meter, which goes up to my filtration system, loops around, and goes back up into the house. All right, I don't have much room here. As you see, there's two concrete blocks. Uh, looks like a four inch block and then some wooden on top. That here is the electric coming in from the meter to the breaker box. This, it's got a cedar block trying to turn it mouse. Uh, that goes to my AC disc disconnect. And then I got an air conditioning line, which what I did, I tied it up to the frame of the trailer to get it out of the way so I can dig underneath. Now, tomorrow, I got to go in that tight little space over there and lay on my belly. And my go-to shovel for digging is this guy. This used to be a kitty shovel that I cut the handle off and reattached it. This gets underneath the trailer real good. Secondary shovel where uh, I had to use underneath here is this little guy. And if I get stuck with something really big, I use this, even though I bent the piss out of it already trying to move a brick. So these are my three tools that I use for digging. Now as you see, let me get out from underneath here. I got a whole lot of everything to dig around. But the water pipe is right there in the middle. So I gotta go about another, I like to at least go two feet underneath there. So that's gonna put me right, right under that freaking axle. Damn, I hate this. Last time I dug this thing up, I had a water leak. I traced this pipe all the way across, and what's funny, it goes to the other side, goes all the way over there, it makes a hard left, it goes a foot, then it drops down an extra foot. Then it goes straight out through the um, um, skirting. It goes out probably about six feet, makes a right. It's like, I'm chasing this leak. And it ended up being at the far corner of the house, in between the house and the power pole, where the PVC had some sort of a uh, gray fitting on it and a black pipe attached. Now, while digging down in here, I found the main water line. And lo and behold, would you guess, I found two stainless steel clamps down there and a black line going on to a galvanized line. What were they thinking when they put this house on this property? But anyways, I'm thinking my jacking point is not going to be a happy one, but I'm thinking... 
I'm probably going to put my blocks over there when I get my 20-ton uh, jack. I think that'd be my best bet. And then I'll have to uh, add some boards. I only have to go up, I think, like an inch and a half. But I need to relieve these pipes so nothing breaks. Now, I don't know how far I'll have to go and repair. I mean, a lot of this feels okay here. But I don't know until I open this mess up. But anyways, that's it for this video. I get to take this hat off. That's keep the heebie-jeebies from getting all over me. Rather go in a hat, scratch myself, or even worse, spider bite. See you next time on Lynn's Homestead, where we'll continue this repair.